Well, good evening, everyone. I'm gonna make tacos for tonight. And I have here four and a half pounds of ground beef, which was $3.99 a pound, a little over $18. And I'm just gonna use four pounds of the ground beef. And I'm gonna throw that right in my cast iron pan that I got on heating. Okay, so I have the four pounds of ground beef in here cooking. And when that, that gets cooked, we're going to add in four packages of taco seasoning mix because you use one package per pound. And there's four pounds in here. And it calls for also three-fourths cups of water with one package and one pound. And since I'm doing four of them, we're going to need a total of three cups of water we're going to put in after. Okay? Okay, while well the four pounds of ground beef is on cooking, I got the, the four packages of the taco mix over there and the three cups of water that I need total. I'll show you the other things I got. This time I bought two boxes of this old El Paso and inside it comes 12 taco shells, 10 flour tortillas, two pouches of the mild taco sauce and, um, and two packets of the seasoning mix, okay? So I got two boxes of those. And um, this is the sauce that you get in it. Per box, you get two of these packages of sauce. And you get 12 of the hard shell tacos. And then you also get 10 of the soft shell tacos and a packet of the seasoning mix, two of them, okay? Let me just throw this rest of this uh, I got a half a pound of hamburg here. I'll make my healthier cheeseburger or something with it tomorrow. Let me just throw that in the fridge. Okay. And I also bought some bigger extra uh, eight inch flour taco tortilla shells. Because you never know in this group who's going to eat what and how many of this and that and everything. And I also got a couple bags of these Tostitos scoops because they're good with just salsa. But I like to put them on a, a bacon sheet and then put some of the hamburger down and all the taco stuff, you know, and the nacho cheese and some regular um, Mexican blend taco cheese and stuff and just bake it in the oven, munch on it that way. Speaking of cheese, I have a big bag of the Mexican blend cheese. And um, this has the Monterey Jack, the cheddar, the asadero, and the quesadilla. Okay? And obviously, you're going to need a head of lettuce. And in case you didn't know how to shop for a head of lettuce, you always want to feel your lettuce. You want a lettuce that feels really heavy. Okay, because it's getting expensive and you want to get as much as you can for your buck. All right. And since I got the lettuce in my hand, let me show you an easy way. I was taught many moons ago in a restaurant. The easiest way to core it, just down like that and just pull it right out. Okay, super easy. All right, now that's nice and clean. And then I got some... Uh, vine ripe tomatoes of course they're nothing like your tomatoes from the garden but it, it was the softest i could find all right and then i got some rico's gourmet nacho cheddar cheese sauce a couple cans of that that i'm going to throw in this pan so it can heat up afterwards so let me get that right in the pan set that on the stove Then I still had a big jar of mild salsa because I can't go with the hot type because the, the kids and the grandkids and certain ones they can't eat real hot and spicy. Okay, they also make this natural cheese hot, so be careful when you're picking up a can 
make sure you read because <laughs> they have a few different types out there, okay? All right, let me just set that on the stove. And then I also, I usually can my own taco sauce, but I'm out of it. Kids love it. So I just bought uh, an Ortega original thick and smooth taco sauce. Plus, don't forget, in the box you got two packages per box of also the taco sauce. All right. And one of my grandsons, I have no idea what it tastes like, but I'm going to find out tonight. It's, I got it mild. It's a chipotle sauce. And I'm not even going to try to really put it. So chill. Can you see that? Something new. At least I've never seen it before. So he asked if I could pick up some chipotle sauce. and So we're going to give that a try. Okay. And you can either set, take these apart to warm them up and set them on a baking sheet in, in your oven. Or just, you know what, just set them right on the racks like that. Just be careful when you're laying them down in your racks, just like that, okay? You don't get burnt, all right? So you want to preheat your oven, and, and uh, that'll be getting warm. And then I use a tomato knife, and I just make sure my tomato's clean. And not everybody likes tomatoes um, with their stuff, so... That's why I didn't get very many tomatoes, okay? And just give them a little dice up. Doesn't have to be perfect or anything. Quick little cut up. Okay, get my little dish to set those in. Yeah, we haven't had tacos in a while. And it's what the grandkids wanted, so that's what they're going to get. Now, hubby, he'll have a nice big taco salad. And then you will probably have a few of the soft tacos on a shelf. Me, I'm going to use those scoops and put everything right on them scoops. And then also, I have plenty of sour cream. Got to have sour cream. Well, almost everybody likes the sour cream. I just find to show you, you know how easy it is get your veggies and stuff all prepped while your meat's cooking and then before you know it everything's ready see those two tomatoes are going to give plenty set that out of the way. Wipe up my tomato mess. So I hope everybody's doing well tonight. never know what I'm going to be doing. But the ones who haven't made tacos, you know, they're just starting out. Now what I like to do to warm up these soft 
taco shells. I take a paper towel, okay, and I'm just gonna lightly dampen it, good. Just like that. And then I'm gonna gently use the palm of my hand and just bring it out like that. Then I'm gonna open it up. And then I'm gonna take a whole stack and I'm gonna cover them, just like that. And then I'm gonna put them on a microwavable plate and then zap them in the microwave. Not long, probably, oh, try 15, 20 seconds, okay? And they'll come out nice, even hot. All right, now, for the lettuce. Okay, the ground beef is all nice and brown. Now I dump the four packets of the taco seasoning mix in it. You wanna mix that up really good. And then, like I said, for one pound of hamburger, it's one packet of taco seasoning. But you don't have to buy it in a kit. You can just buy it all by itself, the taco mix. Or you could even make your own, which I do too at times, make my own. Okay, and it's three quarter cups of water per packet. So like I said, this is four times because I'm using four pounds of hamburger, four packets of the taco seasoning mix, which we equal three-fourths times four, three cups of water. Okay, stir that all up real good. And then you're going to let it simmer for like 15 minutes, okay? And by the time that's done, everything else will be all prepped and ready to go. so far. Okay, I got the oven warming up for my shells. I got a plate to put the soft tacos on that I got in a lightly damped paper towel. Tomatoes are cut up. I got some cheese in a bowl to start off with. And now I'm just going to tear up some of this lettuce. Like I said, hubby likes the toss salad. It's a good chunk and just rip it right up. Just like that. I used to take a knife and just um, do real tiny tiny, tiny little slices. Really shred it good that way too, but for a salad, I'm just breaking it up. And it seems so good on the tacos this way too. And I'll save some of these leaves for sandwiches. Or on a nice cheeseburger or whatever. pretty good. Let's go with that for now. Okay. So you get everything all set up and it's just zoom, zoom, zoom to put together. Because some people don't like sour cream. Some people don't want tomatoes on it. You know what I mean? So. Okay, now remember, the shells only take a few seconds in the oven, and you really should put them on a baking sheet, okay? That way there ain't no drippings of any sorts. And these are my um, scoops that I showed you that I'm using. And I just put them on a baking tray. I put some of my meat that's ready, taco meat on it. And then I took some of this Mexican cheese, 
It has four cheeses in it. We threw some of that on and we're gonna bake it till the cheese melts. Okay, and we're just about all set up. My lettuce is ready, the tomatoes are ready, my sour cream, my um, Mexican cheese, my taco meat, um, whatever sauces they want, the taco sauce, or the ones that come in the package, some salsa, and then some chipotle. Okay, and I got sour cream here. The soft shells I'm zapping in the microwave. So everything's just about all set. There really isn't much to it. Just get everything all set up and prepped and then they can fix it however they want it. Okay. As you can see it all came out of the oven. Let me get something. So I can Look this up and show you. Can you see that with the cheese melted on it and the meat? I'm going to end up sliding that right onto a plate for me and I'm putting all the nice fixings on it. Okay? And 40 seconds. Remember to dampen your paper towel. Okay? And they're just right so you can touch them and not get burnt, but they're still super warm. Okay? All right, and that's it. Now I'm going to start working on making my hubby a salad. Y'all take care and God bless. Have a good night. Bye-bye.